pitch deep into this game. Behind 0-2 now. Uh, and he's just rolling right now. And even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Jorge Alfaro will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing and one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball. And he's behind in the count 0-2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Jorge Alfaro is sent packing for out number two in the sixth. Garrett Cooper swings and misses there, so he's down 0 1. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0 2. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0 and 2. Fouled away. The 0 2 once more. Hit softly down the line at first. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 and 2. Hit on the ground is short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error. Richard Blyer enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. So now here is Ken Griffey Jr. struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. 0 oh, and one count and the pitch. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. Sinker misses and it's one and two now. Now here's the pitch. Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. The right fielder. At the plate now, Michael Conforto hit down the line at first. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. So next to hit is Matt Olson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? Another flyout wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. Throw from shallow right will get him at first, but the run will come in to score. Digging in, the switch hitter, Adley Rutschman. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And they will still manage to get him at first. A Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring in the second baseman, John Birdie. John Birdie. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off 1 and 2. Bouncer to the left side. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good way to start it on the outside corner for strike one. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. Get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. In time to first, and there are two away. Ready now for the Marlins. Adam Duvall, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he failed to pull the bat off his shoulder in that one, Matty. Down on three pitches, pretty much a wasted A.B. This has to be a better effort. Right by him here. He's set up for another 
strikeout here. The count to 0-2. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Still one and two as he fouls it away. And he struck him out to retire the side. Last half of the seventh here, and next will be the pitcher, Jacob DeGrom. The pitcher, Jacob. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Marte is there, and he has it for the first down. Digging in next, Marco Luciano. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now here it comes. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Birdie backs up and takes care of it. Two away. So now into the box is Lou Brock. It was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Swing and a liner. And that will conclude matters. Now at the plate, here is Jesus Aguilar. Off for two on his line thus far. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. 1-1 one, one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's 1-2. and two. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. So he sets him down swinging. Jesus Aguilar goes quietly to lead off the eighth. A one count. Here's the pitch. Now a check swing. Did he go around? No, says Kenny Jansen. It's ball one. A one two. It's laid off for ball two. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. Here's the first pitch. Now the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the. John Curtis is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Wander Franco will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Pulled toward right center field. Marte is there and he has it for the first down. At the plate now is Jeff McNeil. He bounced out last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next, it'll be Ken Griffey Jr. He's two for three with a home run and a double. First pitch on its way. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. So far, two for three in this one. The 0 1 pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Marte going back. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Now that first baseman. Matt. To the plate now, Matt Olson. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 0-1. 
0-1 on its way. Hard hit towards center. That gets down and the inning will continue. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Stepping in now, Adley Rutschman, swing and a liner, and that's through into left, a base hit. And they throw up the stop sign at third as they decide to play it safe with two away. Zach Pop, and is now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. At the plate, Jacob DeGrom, and he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. One run scores. Here's a second runner around third. Safe at the plate. As they push their lead to eight now. Now Third In now, Marco Luciano. Popped him up. Aguilar has a play. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. All set to start the ninth in this one, and stepping up is the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Liner towards second. Gets dirty and gloves it. The throw to first. He is out. And that outstanding effort keeps the perfect game alive. From Miami, Jorge Alfaro. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. And that one yanked just foul. The 0 1. Hey, that's a heck of a pitch right there. Big velocity up and in for strike two. I mean, you saw this guy flinch at the plate. He was thinking that buzzed the tower, but then to get a pop to strike is tough. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Jorge Alfaro goes down for the second out, and now they're down to their final try. Lowen Diaz is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. And another foul ball. Miami down to their last strike. And they'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off. One and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful.